Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Auto Mobilista 2 video. Now anyone that has been following the channel will know I've done quite a few of these videos now. None of them ever come out as and when these updates do. However, during the last seven days we have seen an update. In fact, we've seen a few updates for the game. We're now on version 0.9.3.2. So it's definitely safe to say we are getting a very, very close indeed to that version 1.0 release. So not far to go, but has this update actually made the game feel any closer to being complete? Now on the whole, so far I've been incredibly impressed with this game. I've been having a loads of fun with it and it has consumed so much of my gaming time over the last sort of month and a bit now. But if you have caught any of my previous videos, you'll know there are definitely a few issues still going on within this game. But as always, Reza has released a huge amount of information with the update so we can see exactly what they've been working on. And it is more of the same stuff, but they are still the same issues that the game has had since it first really got released into early access. But what I'll do is talk about those a little bit more while I'm actually playing. So for today's video, what I've actually set up is just a single event versus the AI. Now it is going to be at the Suzuka GP circuit. I'm going to be using the Sigma P1, which if it's a car you've never used before, it is a rear wheel drive V8. It's got 520 horsepower, weighs 1170 kilograms and has 550 newton meters of torque. It's one of those cars in the game where it just feels like it's got loads and loads of grip and then all of a sudden you've got absolutely none and you're spinning towards a barrier. But that being said, be a little bit gentle with it and you will get a lot out of this car. It's definitely one that I would recommend and particularly on Suzuka, I've been having a load of fun with it. As always, I'm going to be using the G29 and there will be a wheel cam down in the bottom left of the screen. Now, if you caught my last video, you'll know I've been having issues with the paddle shifters on here. I still have got a problem where I can't actually upshift. So I'm going to be using the H pattern for this. I know that's a little bit unusual and this car is definitely sequentially changed. However, it is just the issue I've got at the moment and it's going to continue this way for a little while moving forward, I reckon. But anyway, that's enough chatting. Let's get straight into the race. Okay, so here we go. It is another rolling start. It's definitely still my preference within this game. Um, but coming up to the lights here and we're off. Okay, so I've had lots of practices actually for this particular event. Um, I've been having some real problems with it, certainly in terms of the AI. Now, I do need to be quite careful with their braking here because they do tend to just slam it. There we go. <laughs> a little tap there. Um, but you'll probably see a few more of those in this race. Now, this is one of the uh, main things that they have been talking about within, these, uh, within the last few updates, actually, is the AI here. I'm just going to try and go around the outside, which is definitely where I'm going to cut across and actually try and do the same here again as well. Yeah, which is working nicely, and I'll tuck in behind this guy here. Um, but yeah, AI has been a constant um, concern and it is something that Reza have been addressing for a long, long time. Now, the big thing that a lot of people have had an issue with is where the AI actually just comes screaming into the back of your car and quite often just punt you off the course when you're actually braking. Now, I'd like to say that this has been completely solved, but unfortunately, I'm still having exactly the same problem. Now, it even states within their update um, that they have actually worked specifically on the um, computer control cars awareness of your location on the track so that that shouldn't be happening anymore but honestly i've not noticed the difference and the chances are i mean every single practice i've had trying to do this course it's happened to me at least once so it wouldn't surprise me at all if we do see that a little bit later on now I know we're still in early access and trust me, I've been singing the praises of this game ever since it released into that early access and I still absolutely love it. But I do feel like by this point, the AI should be slightly better than where it's currently. There we go. This guy's just trying to bash into me. <laughs> Admittedly, maybe I should be giving him a little bit more room, but I don't want to let him through anyway. Um, but yeah, there's a great example right there of kind of how aggressive they are. And I have got the aggression set really, really low. And um, that now brings me on actually to another part of this update. So what they're saying is that the overall performance of the AI is now going to be a little bit faster. So if you are used to your settings and the way you've got it, you do need to probably lower those back just ever so slightly 
um, to bring the game back in line with what you're used to. Nice look, that makes a change. One of the AI has just been uh, punted off of the course, so I get a cheeky fifth position, which I will take all day long. So yeah, in their update, they've also stated that with this um, sort of difficulty level, if you like, or the strength of your opponents, and also the aggression, they're saying really you want to be setting it as close to that 100% strength rating for the difficulty and 50% for the aggression and then just make small adjustments from there to get it exactly how you want it. If you are going for hugely low numbers on the strength, if you are struggling with the game a little bit, taking it all the way down doesn't necessarily um, make the game any easier is what they're saying and it might actually have a detrimental effect. So try and keep it around that maximum setting and then just play with it and get it until it feels right for you. Whoa, a little bit spicy there with the old acceleration. Need to take that a little bit more cautiously around the hairpin there. And the next big part of this update won't surprise you at all. Again, if you are following this game and you're into it at all, it's force feedback. Now, Reza have done loads of work in this department. And to be honest, to start with, the difference that it was making was vast and it really did change the whole feel of the game. Again, go back and watch some of my earlier videos on this game and you'll hear me talking all about it and just how good it is. Now, the force feedback up until this update I thought was pretty good. I was very comfortable with where it was at. Admittedly, I do have to have it all set a little bit stronger than it comes standard because um, I do just like a little bit more feel than what they're sort of giving you in that standard setup, at least for the G29 anyway. Um, but with this update, they're saying that it's all been changed. I haven't really noticed any kind of difference with it. But equally, they have also said that this is it now. Basically, they've got it where they're going to have it for version 1.0 for when the game actually releases. So what we're playing with now is, is exactly what you're going to be getting. Now, the important part of this, and again, I'm sure any of you guys that have been playing this from the start anyway will be fully aware of this. But every time they bring out these new setups, um, for things like the force feedback it's not automatically implemented in the game for you you do have to go and just delete all of your current settings set it back to standard when you then reload into the game that will automatically apply all of the new settings from the update so please do make sure you are doing that because otherwise you won't be feeling any of the differences but like i say with this particular update i haven't noticed much of a difference at all So uh, coming up, well, about halfway through the third lap here. I'm in fifth position, which I'm happy with, but the guys behind me are definitely chasing me down hard, and I'm just about to go around Spoon here, and I'm always a little bit slower than the AI, as you can see. Um, I have my own little sort of uh, weird line I like to take here, which doesn't really work, uh, but it just seems to be the way I've always driven this course. But yeah, I think it's only a matter of time before these guys do overtake me. And I can't see any way of catching up to the guys in front. I am going as hard as I possibly can. And it's really not working out for me. I've just had to lift slightly there. And here they come. Yeah, he's going to come straight past me. I'll have to give him some space. Or no, I'll just tap him a little bit as he goes through, actually. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'll have to let him through. So sixth position anyway is where we're going to be going into lap number four. So as I come up to the start finish line here, the only really other thing that I need to talk about in terms of this update is the additional content that we've received. Now there's not loads of it, but I'm sure all of you are in agreement with me. You're always happy to get something for nothing and this stuff has just been added in completely free for us to play around with. Now Reza are following on from what they've been doing and they've got an absolute love at the minute for 1980s Brazilian racing. Now with this particular update what we're getting is three new models um, of car added to the game. They come into the hot car categories and basically they are an early 80s Brazilian touring car. <laughs> Typical. There's me moaning about the AI constantly smacking into the back of me and here I am doing it to them. 
But yeah, this new content, I haven't um, personally actually tried any of the new cars out. But obviously I will be once I get round to doing it. So it'd be great to hear if any of you guys have tried them out, whether they are really a really good addition to the game. Let me know down in the comment section. It'd be great to hear from all of you guys that are interested in this game. Now, I know Reza have got loads of content planned for the season pass, so it's going to be really interesting to see when all that starts to come out once the game is fully released. And whilst we're talking of that subject, don't forget at the moment there is still a small discount. It's only 20% now um, if you go and buy Automobilista over on Steam. So it is worth doing it. If you're thinking about picking it up, you can save yourself that 20% now because as soon as the game releases um, and comes out of early access, it is going to go back to its normal full price. Okay, so coming up to the final part of the race here, it looks like I'm not going to be getting any closer than sixth position, which actually, I'll tell you what, I felt like I've been guarding the back of this car for the entirety of this race. Uh, for some reason, it feels like the, um, the AI is a lot harder, like they said. But there we go. So yeah, it's going to be a sixth place across the line here. I've enjoyed the race. It's been fun, but I'm not going to lie. There has been a load of practice that has gone into this because like I say, I'm still having lots of issues with being punted off the track when you least expect it, which is definitely not what you want from a sim racer. But that being said, it's always a pleasure to come back and drive in Automobilista 2. The driving itself is just so much fun. If you take away from those annoying AI issues, it is a great feeling game. But as always, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. I really appreciate you swinging by the channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe. I have got content like this coming out most of the time, along with a few bits on GT Sport as well. But it'll be great to see some new faces joining the channel. If you can be bothered, and I really hope you can, just give the video a like. It really helps them grow here on the channel and make sure they're seen by a lot more people. I hope you're all staying safe out there. Thanks again for coming by and I'll see you all in the next one.